In the movie industry, trailers are designed to do one thing, sell the movie. A good movie trailer needs to tease you into wanting to see more. They need to show some plot, the tone of the movie, and what type of movie it is going to be. Their advertisements aimed at getting you into the cinema to hand over your money. They help to build hype and are an excellent source of conversation and speculation before a movie hits theaters. But are trailers ruining movies? I'm Caleb from Movie Nerds, and today we're taking a look at movie trailers and the negative effects they can have on an audience before the movie comes out. We see trailers each and every day, and they have become so embedded in modern pop culture that the release of some trailers, especially Star Wars or Marvel movies, have become events almost comparable to the release of the movie itself. There's a trailer! But what are the negative effects of these trailers? I'm not just talking about a bad movie trailer, where a poorly edited collection of scenes does little to sell you on a film. Though this is happening too if you take a look at recent trailers for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Truth or Dare, and Slender Man. I'm more talking about those trailers that come off as desperate. Desperate to get you into the cinema and see their movie. So desperate that they show far too much of their movie in the trailer. Last year, Spider-Man Homecoming was one of the worst offenders of this. When all of the trailers were put together, you could effectively create a roadmap of the movie, with the bits and pieces previewed from the promotional material. Seeing Spider-Man with Iron Man, Tony taking away the suit, Vulture and his motives, discovering who Peter really is, all but one or two action scenes were shown. But showing too much in a trailer isn't a new problem, it goes back quite a way. Remember Castaway, the story of Tom Hanks marooned on an island, will he get off the island and back home? Yes. Yes he does, because they showed it in the trailer. The list goes on, Terminator Salvation revealed the truth about Sam Worthington's character, Kingsman the Golden Circle showed that Colin Firth was still alive. In a desperate attempt to get you into the movie, the studios have done the exact opposite, by showing too much and leaving next to no mystery left. Why should you go see it now, you practically know everything that is going to happen. What might be worse than giving away the entire movie however, is mismarketing a movie. This is when a trailer is cut together to sell an almost completely different version of a movie when in truth the final product isn't anything like how it was sold. When the trailer for Drive came out, it was sold as an action movie. Drive is not an action movie, the complete opposite if anything. Someone even tried to sue them when they thought it was going to be a Fast and Furious-esque movie based purely off the mismarketed trailer. Or the tone could be completely off in trailers too. Remember the very first trailer from Comic Con for Suicide Squad? It was dark, foreboding, eerie and gritty, it looked ominous and intriguing, the first comic book movie from the perspective of the bad guys. Then the second trailer came out and completely changed the tone of the film. Fun, bubbly and jokey. The clash of tones between the two trailers was monumental and it shows in the final product of the film. Save the world. Then there is always the, hey, that wasn't in the movie. These are the ones where scenes are shown in trailers but they don't appear in the final version of the film. Now this happens for a lot of reasons, reshoots, alternate scenes, scenes cut all together, and even some scenes that are shot purely for a trailer to build hype. Think of Justice League, Rogue One, and Suicide Squad yet again. But it isn't all doom and gloom when it comes to movie trailers. Every now and then, you get trailers that are fantastic without giving too much away. Dunkirk, Mad Max Fury Road, A Quiet Place, Annihilation, The Force Awakens teaser. There is a fine line that needs to be walked in creating a trailer. Accurately represent the plot, tone, and genre of the film without giving away too much story. Don't show too much, but don't show too little either. Don't give away too many money shots, but still tease us enough to get the audience interested and wanting to see what happens next. 